Bay, out on the bike. Glorious Pyrenees in the background. Just in, um, just out of our village now. And uh, thought I'd start as a mean to go on. Did have a fat grass mat matinee this morning. Bit of a lie in. Uh, enjoyed the games night last night with the children. Um, nice early night, half past 10. Said all the happy new years this morning. Um, so yeah, work starts again tomorrow. And then it really must be a massive push. Massive push to try and get these bedrooms done in the next sort of three, four months. And try and get, uh, try and get ready for opening and get open. Enjoy a good summer, hopefully. And see where we go from there. So here we are in the master suite at the moment and work is uh, going on in the bathroom as you saw um, in our last vlog. Um, Julian tore out the sink unit, so we've got the toilet in there at the moment. Um, but uh, shortly, in the next few days, I'll be dropping on into there and uh, plastering my first ever ceiling. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. That's one way to put it. At the moment, we're working on the walk-in um, wardrobe, dressing rooms, whatever you call them. Um, two sw uh, quite small areas um, that we haven't touched yet um, and that haven't been touched in years. Um, so Julian um, is... Um, has basically torn out the old um, shelving that were almost falling down, the rods for the clothes that were just there's a hole in the wall and not secured. Um, so a bit of a sorry state. And we had a bit of a disaster yesterday where because of the wall, uh, the way the wall was built, when we took down one of the shelves, it actually pulled out some of the wall on the other side, which is in the hallway. So we're going to have to mend that. So here's the hole um, that we talked about. Julian's sorted out and made good the other side. Um, sorry, Julian, I'm in his way. He's plasterboarding the final pieces. And this is what we've now got to uh, fill in with cement and uh, make good on this side as well, because this is the bead that's gone on. That was here originally, so we've got to really be careful about how we tackle this. And then, paint the entire wall again and see how that goes. So as always here, um, when you start on one job, uh, sometimes what happens is it adds another two, three days work to um, the rest of your to-do list. Um, so two steps forward and all that. And if you follow us in our Facebook group, uh, Life at uh, Chateau de la Couture, then you'll know that. <laughs> if you're not following us, uh, why, not, uh, why not request to join the group because you do see daily updates almost there and uh, we fill you in with some of the things that's going on behind the scenes. So let's take you inside one of these. Julian's working in one, we'll say hello in a minute and we'll take you in uh, the one that uh, is to my left and uh, we'll see what the state is. So here we are, we come in through this little door here and it's got this beautiful little fan light at the top and you can see that basically what the light into these which is disconnected at the moment because Julian's working on the electricity has just been this little single bulb that has been all exposed not exposed wires but all the exposed gam the electrical um, conduit and then you have this exposed bulb really and this has been our lighting for our wardrobes in this suite uh, since we moved in. So this is why we're working on them at the moment because um, we did think that we wouldn't have time to get onto these and we'd end up having to shut them off for guests and put a little wardrobe in the room or something instead. However, uh, we figured once this suite's open, we don't really want to have to close it in later times to try and um, basically do these uh, these areas up so we're pushing on and we've added these into the mix now so extra jobs so it's a really nice space it's really tall as tall as the room um, but you can see that it's had no work um, this is where I don't know whether it's original but certainly original to uh, for a long time um, before uh, the, the, the old shelving has been put back on over the electrical cables and because it had been removed and put back it was all over the place and just wasn't up to the task anyway. So what we're doing is we're, Julian is boarding all of this out 
Um, we've bought some spotlights which are going to uh, replace the bulb. So this electrical wiring will be then put under the plasterboard and made good. Um, and then this area will then be turned into wardrobe and dressing room space. So here's Julian. Can't quite see. Hello. Hello. So here we've got the cupboard space. And this is sort of floor to ceiling now, goes all the way down, We've got shelves and everything in there. We're gonna alter what's in there. Um, and then Julian, it's not very uh, good at the moment, but uh, Julian is working as we see on fitting the new spotlight. You know, still can't see you, doing the hole for the new spot. How's it going, Julian? Okay. Okay. It's got the ceiling plasterboard up apart from one piece um, along the back and then we'll be uh, fitting in on the three walls. So that's as excited as it gets in here but just want to show you what we're up to, uh, what Julian's up to in here and uh, we'll give you an update on the bathroom. So I said I needed an aftershock. So I missed the first few plasterboards. And the plaster. And the plaster. <laughs> how many bags of plaster was it? Six. Six? And how many plasterboards did I miss? Seven. Oh, but it's 17 plasterboards in total. Oh, I'll have to count it back then. So. <laughs> a bit sweaty, babe. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> That was tough. All right, well, if you want to know, those bits that I filmed took 44 minutes. So, not bad. That's my exercise with Chris Barnacourt done. Yeah. <laughs> so, a bit of a bathroom update for you. The walls are now finished, um, pretty much. Um, we will have some um, area to do around the bathroom, which, uh, around the bath, which I'll explain in a moment. But we are trying to salvage um, this, this renovation as much as we can um, because we have four, bedroom, uh, four bathrooms on this floor alone for the six bedrooms. And the cost, obviously, as you can imagine, is huge. So we didn't want to just automatically rip out every single bathroom. So in here, the sink and the toilet, um, really relatively new, um, nice looking, all clean, great. So they've stayed. Um, the bath, again, not too bad. Um, the mixer tap, however, had a bit of a leak. Um, so the plan was that, okay, well, the mixer tap is quite old fashioned anyway, in terms of, not, not retro or classical fashioned, but sort of 80s, uh, 80s chic, if you like, 90s, um, and also leaks. So it's, uh, we'll, we'll swap the mixer tap, that was the plan. However, the centers of the taps, because it fits onto the bath, 
um, are a lot smaller than standard. Um, we have looked and looked and looked and tried to find replacement mixer taps. Not only this, it's quite, um, it's not common for uh, mixer taps for baths um, to be fitted onto bathtubs um, in France, it seems. They much rather put, prefer to put them in the wall. So with this in mind, we have really struggled. In fact, we can't find any, not even in the UK, um, mixer taps um, with the size um, to replace to put onto the bath. So Julian said, okay, we're going to have to stick with this mixer tap and we're going to have to um, basically fix it. We tried, he tried yesterday for an hour to fix this leak and it, it just won't, the, everything's, everything's gone. We had all the bolts and the nuts and the screws and everything off. So um, we on as our Facebook post um, the other day, we are now in the position where because of this mixer tap, um, we have to replace everything, the mixer tap and the bathtub. Um, because if we fit another mixer tap, then we're gonna have holes in the bathtub that we can't cover. Um, so we're not happy and not only is this added expense, the overall result is probably gonna look a lot better because it'll be a nice new tub, nice new system. Um, and uh, the plan now is, let me show you. So here's the existing tub and you can see the mixer tap. Not very nice, but it would have been adequate because we've got a really nice shower head um, fitted onto the wall and it would have been fine. However, um, once you try and put the shower on, it leaks. Um, so it's the, it's the mixer in the middle that has gone. Um, reading reviews of uh, different taps and things. Um, this is quite a common occurrence for mixer taps. Um, so anyway, so it would have just been a case of, if we could find it, swapping the mixer tap over and then basically getting all the tiling done, fitting the new bath screen, um, and starting on making the surround look nice as well. However, that's not the plan now. Um, so we have had to order a new bathtub. Um, it is now a rectangular tub that is slightly longer than this by 10, uh, 20 centimetres. Um, but it's narrower. So we've had to make sure that the waste and everything, the way it's organised underneath um, will work. So that took a lot of time to sort out yesterday finding the right bathtub because um, we didn't want to then alter all that because it, it works fine at the moment. Um, so the tub that we found um, that is aesthetically nice, the right price, fits with all the waste, everything else, um, is going to take three weeks to get delivered. Three weeks. <laughs> so we're rocking, we're rocking and rolling in here. We've got Pretty much everything, the ceiling's done, the walls are done, um, in terms of we've got everything else ready to go. We've got the tiles, we've got the coving, we've got the ceiling rows, we've got the wallpaper, and there's the paint colour for the skirting boards. Um, started on that, and it's just crazy. We are now going to be, instead of finishing this in what would have been a couple of weeks, we are now going to be, fingers crossed, if the tub comes, I never, uh, never count my chickens. Um, we're going to be waiting for that tub and then finishing this bathroom a couple of weeks later, most likely. So it's a good job we are working on two um, bedroom suites at the, the same time. So yeah, we are not impressed with that little development, both from a delay point, an extra work point, and a financial point. We're hoping overall that the look is going to be improved and that that will be uh, the bonus coming out of all this. Um, but yesterday the air was a little bit blue um, from Julian over the hole in the wall that was made and over this as well. So. There we go. So I'm going to now crack on with what I can do, which is not much more in here now. I'm going to get some of the skirting um, boards and the back of that door painted, which is going to be painted in this grey blue. Um, Julian also, over Christmas, sanded the floor. Um, it had its first sand, now it's had its second sand. But when we remove this bathtub, we're going to have, it's not too bad under there, there's going to be a little bit of sanding to do as well. 
Um, but the idea was that we were going to be working top down. So Julian um, was going to basically come in now, fit the coving. Um, we'll do the wallpaper first, fit the coving, fit the ceiling rows, fit the light, um, then start the tiling. But alas, that order is not going to happen now. So I think we're going to get the wallpaper and the coving done. Um, and then we're going to be at a standstill in here. And um, it's going to be full steam ahead on the other suite. So guys, the delay in this suite, not our fault this time. Um, really, it's one of those things, but um, we'll bring you the things as, uh, as they come up and we'll uh, be showing you the work on the other suite as well.